Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today, I am going to read the uh, Reading Explorer Foundation novel, Unit 5B, At the Scene of a Crime. A. It's 5.30 a.m. and your phone rings. A police officer says someone broke into a store and took some expensive items. It needs you right away. It is your job to study the whole scene for clues that'll help catch the thief. You are a crime scene investigator, and the game is on. Paragraph B. Outside the store, you see a broken window, but there is no glass on the street. There are shoe prints and marks made by a vehicle's tires. You look at the shoe prints. They are large, so you're likely looking for a man. You photograph the shoe's pattern. This can tell you the type of shoe. You then measure the space between the shoe prints. You now know how long the person's steps were. This gives you an idea of how tall the thief was. Paragraph C. As you follow the shoe prints over to the tire marks, the spaces between the steps get bigger. They lead to the passenger side of the vehicle. Now, you know the thief probably didn't work alone. You photograph the tire marks. They can help you find out the type of vehicle and the direction it went. The most imp paragraph D, the most important clues will come from a person's body. You find some fingerprints near the broken window. Using a computer, you can compare these prints against millions of others. You also find the hair. You keep it because you know hair contains a person's DNA. You can compare this with other people's DNA too. If you find a match for the fingerprint or the DNA, you will know who was in the store. Paragraph E. Will you find the thief? You now have a lot of information, so it's possible. For a crime scene investigator, it's all in a day's work. The end.